All right, greetings. This is Jim, AG6IF, doing a quick video for my friend Chuck here. I'm going to show him how I tune up my HF radio. So the first thing I do, Chuck, is with the amp off, I tune the antenna to minimum SWR by rotating the tuner's trans and antenna knobs and reading the SWR meter. My tuner's here, and my meter is right here. Okay, so switch your uh, mode AM and check the frequency is clear okay i'm going to turn the transmitter on and what we're going to do is okay transmitter is on okay now if i tune see the the needle that's pointing to the right is the reflected power so i'm going to move these knobs to bring that down to the minimum back and forth between the two of them so we got the antenna is now tuned, and where the two knobs, where the two needles cross over, is supposedly your SWR. So that's about 1.2. 1.2. So the antenna is tuned. All right, now let's do this. AG6 I have clear. All right. So we tune the antenna. The next thing we do is we're going to tune the turn on the amplifier, and we have to tune the amplifier so that it is properly adjusted for the frequency you're going to use okay so we're on the 80 meters here uh, we turn the band switch to 80 and uh, the tuning and the load knobs and now we're going to set the amplifier knobs to achieve a maximum power output max output i'm going to switch my range to 200 watts Okay, we're still on that same frequency. We're assuming we're going to operate on this frequency. All right, so now to avoid wearing out my uh, on-off switch, I plug my amplifier into a heavy-duty power strip. So here we're going to turn it on. All righty, amplifier's on. The frequency's still clear. We're on AM so that we get a signal in there. Now what we're going to do now is I got the power down real low, 8 watts. Eh. We can go down even lower, somewhere around there. And we're going to set, turn the transmitter on. Now the antenna is tuned, so we're not going to touch the tuner. What we're going to do now is we're going to tune the amplifier for maximum output. So I'm going to turn the transmitter on. There we go. And then I'm going to move the tuning knob first. And I want to achieve maximum output. So right about there, just by turning this back and forth a little bit. All right, and then you go to the loading knob and you do the same thing. In my case, the loading knob's all the way down where it's maximum. So now what we've done is we tune the antenna to about 1.2 to one. Then we've tuned the amplifier so it's properly adjusted for 3591, 80 meters, okay? So there's two processes. So anyway, tune the antenna, and then you tune the amplifier. If you move frequency very far, you have to retune the amplifier. Now, the exciter in this case is a solid state radio. It doesn't need to be tuned. But if you use an exciter, if you use an exciter like a Collins with have tubes in it, you actually have to tune the transmitter first. And I do that into a dummy load which is connected on the back of my tuner. So I tune the Collins first. So because there's a trans there's a tube transmitter in there. And then I tune the antenna. And then I tune the amplifier because it has a tube transmitter as well. So tubes have to be adjusted by properly tuning them. Then it's a separate process from tuning the antenna. So we're not going to confuse the issue too much with the exciter being a tubed exciter, but I just wanted to mention that. With a solid state exciter, all you got to do is let her, let her fly. So there's some wind link in the background here. You can hear it. So that's some wind link. All right. I'm glad we didn't interfere with them at all. So, okay, Chuck, there you go. We've got to get together and we'll uh, get you in the saddle here and uh, you can do this a few times and you'll have it in short order. So, 7-3, this is Jim in Dayton, AG6IF. Thanks for watching.